we have uh, a number of spells. We have flying like an eagle or a fly, teleportation at random, causing a deep sleep, transforming another into a cat, brewing a storm, uh, and becoming invisible. Uh, all of which are required to finish the game. <laughs> oh, God <laughs> bless it. <laughs> oh, these unsavory two are certainly rogues. unsavory rogues. They look like they'd rob you blind. Hey, guys. Hello, daddies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there are lovely flowers growing in this well-tended garden. Their sweet scents and beautiful colors delight you. Oh, no. Papa Bear has found you sleeping in Baby Bear's bed. You're in for it now. <laughs> <laughs> and stay out. <laughs> you mix the ingredients together, the mixture turns into an oily, disagreeable dough with cat hair sticking out of it. Scrunching your nose in distaste, you grab the oily dough from the clay bowl and put it on the oaken table. Pushing the palm of your hand on the oily dough, you flatten it until it is in the shape of a cookie. After a bit, the cookie hardens. <laughs> Think you can do it in 18 seconds? Hell yeah, I can do it in 18 seconds. You see how fast I am? You fooled him. Manana didn't realize the porridge was tainted and ate the whole bowl. <laughs> what an income poop. What a boob. What an absolute what a, rube. <laughs> what a nimrod. Congratulations. Mananan will never again enslave you or the people of Ludor. At last, you are free. There he is, Pet Mananan. You better get on with your quest. Mananan is no longer a bother to anyone. Talk to Mananan. I forget if it gives you the option to kick Cat. Mananan seems it, unusually it quiet, you don't you think? No, wow. See, uh, <laughs> I didn't suggest it because I was like, this is on YouTube, but I, I did used to do that when I was a kid. <laughs> I mean, he's Getting evil, battle, so... But... Well, I mean, this cute. one is, but the the other cat is just, I, I think, just a mean cat. <laughs> no, you can do it. <laughs> God. Well, on the bright side, uh, we are able to relax a little bit. Uh, the, time, the, the ticking timer is not... Uh, heading into the Zeph zone anytime soon. But there is still a timer later, is there not? No. I believe there is, like, you, you can uh, miss your chance to get to the end game, I believe, if you wait too long, but it's a lot more forgiving from here on mm. out. You know, actually, the latter half of the game, I hardly remember at all. Yeah, same. It's, once you get to the second half um it's all basically downhill the the bulk of the game is really just the scavenger hunt so let's see what other spells do we have at our disposal um there's teleportation at random uh there's causing a deep sleep there's brewing a storm becoming invisible Oh, and there's also uh, flying like an eagle or fly and understanding the language of creatures. Of those, I feel like understanding the language of creatures would be the only one that's like immediately useful, though. Yeah, the bulk of these are like, they don't really, uh, you don't pull the trigger until in game. Um, for understanding the language of creatures, uh, you need small feathers, you need a bowl, you need reptile skin, you need powdered fish bone, uh, you need a thimble full of dew, uh, and that's it. And I think the, the dew is the only thing you're missing. Yeah, what are the other components? For this spell or the other one? Other, other spells. Uh, for flying like an eagle or a fly, uh, you need a pinch of saffron, uh, and that's it. You and I believe that was in the uh, in, that's to create the uh, the essence, and then you basically dip the wings of something you want to turn into into it. So, um, eagle or fly uh, wings are necessary. 
We already did uh, the cat spell. Teleportation at random. Uh, we need salt, mistletoe, um, and that should be it. Okay, causing a deep sleep, acorns, um, nightshade juice, um, which is in the laboratory. Uh, the brazier is also in the laboratory. So, so uh, far we can be... make most of this stuff. We have the bulk of the uh, items and a lot of the, uh, like, I think the do is so far is the only thing we're missing. I think there's like, we got all four items from the shop, right? Are we, do, do we still have four uh, gold coins left? We do. Okay. Um, Tobe Spittle was in this laboratory. Yeah. So I think, I think do is the only thing we're missing. Where would we get to? Uh, that's also a bullshit puzzle, but you know, okay. I'll let you guys figure that out. Is yeah, I was just some, gonna say. <laughs> is it something we can get now? Absolutely. Okay, cool. Then let's do it, Suha. I, yeah. <laughs> I've been restraining myself, so you guys should be grateful. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I heard that, and I forgot that uh, that's us doing the maps. <laughs> He's gone. Alexander pulls out his magic map. <laughs> Man, and as a cat, just poofs into existence. Is like, I can talk now, bitch. <laughs> so, like, do you think that Mordak just poofed in to visit his brother and then was like, <gasps> and actually, in five, Manannan talks, but uh, I, I suppose. Mean, there's, there's wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 no. That's the, yeah. Okay, never mind. The spell or whatever. Or what is it that you get that makes you talk to animals? Crispin like gives you like basically oh, the ability to talk to animals. Okay, yeah, so then never mind. Um but the talking to animals like component of these games, I think was always something that was kind of cute that they kind of explained. And by seven they kind of like, well, let's we'll just, just it's fine. Everybody's got it, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know, in seven, I think I just thought that um, it was like Cartoonville. So I mean, you could all you could stuff. argue that all the creatures you meet are just from uh, Falderall, so therefore um, they're a bit more uh, special than normal animals. So that's well, possible. like they're in the f and see, we're getting ahead of ourselves. I feel like there might be two here, and <laughs> in, in the forest, there's like the spider and the hummingbird. Thank you, kind human. Hmm. I do feel like the do was kind of a bullshit puzzle, but I feel like it's like on the, it's like on the grass somewhere or something. Have we like looked at the grass everywhere? Oops. I'm <laughs> double checking our ingredients list, and we do need a cup of ocean water um, for brewing a storm. Okay, so I'll have to go grab that. Mm -hmm. I have the cup, so. Mm hmm But where could we get do? I feel like if it's a bullshit puzzle, it's going to be something like finding a fairy and helping her so she gives us some do or some shit. That would be a lot better. This King's Quest is not that, like... I mean, it is fantastical in a lot of other ways, but I feel like it's a lot less... Uh... In that sense. Great. We've filled the cup with ocean water. See, if you leave it up to me, I'm just going to look at do on every screen and see if it gives me a response. So far, that hasn't been working out for me. I would assume that do would be in, like, a meadow somewhere? Yeah. Maybe I need to be looking at the grass? I thought that's what you were doing. I was looking at dew, but I'll try looking at grass. Uh, the dew doesn't come from the cactus, does it? No, the cactus is a separate component. Oh, Jesus. These bastards. They got gotcha. you. These unsavory rogues. <laughs> Truly unsavory of them. 
You don't want your stuff? Yeah, I do want my stuff. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I was hoping we'd get to see this. <laughs> well, we don't get to see it. <laughs> Maybe maybe our stuff needs to be captured by the bandits, and when when we get it back, they've put dew into the bag. <laughs> that would be so nice. Real of thoughtful of them, honestly. Yeah, hey, there they are. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe that worked. <laughs> Wait, what worked? Uh, Rick typed, hey guys, and the bandits <laughs> popped out. <laughs> it was entirely coincidental, but I'm choosing to believe that I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it. I... <laughs> Howdy, gentlemen. <laughs> Fine day we got going on. Now, how do you... Don't mess it up. There we go. I like the music uh, is there even when they're asleep. Mm -hmm. It should be like a tinkly music box, like ting, 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 ting. Makes you wonder ting, what your own like music theme is when somebody enters the room. <laughs> Debbie Wooden Bin is built into a corner of the treehouse. It is covered by a hinged lid. You slowly lift the lid and hope the squeaky hinges do not wake the bandit. <laughs> this must be where the bandits store their loot. You see all of your stolen possessions inside the bin. Nice. And I believe the purse there is going to have your the four gold coins. I like that they re-robbed you. <laughs> You're counting them. <laughs> they better not have stolen any of my stolen coins. <laughs> oh, hubris. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything new here. Tragic. <laughs> I'm glad they saved my ocean water. They, they very carefully had to put that in the bin. Mm-hmm. All right, Suha, where the fuck are we going to get some dew? The real nemesis of this playthrough is just the the very obscure hidden items. Mm -hmm. David, is this a case of RNG? No. I looked everywhere yet, have we? You have. Oh, damn. Okay. Wait. We have what? You've been everywhere you can be. Oh, yeah. I mean, we've looked for do everywhere? In terms of like specifically like typing out like a search command on every single screen? No, um, but. Yeah, this map definitely makes things easier. In fact, I'm a little yeah. bit surprised that this, this game has a fast travel system. I know. <laughs> It doesn't feel as necessary just because, like, the, this map is a lot more, uh, this overworld is a lot more manageable than the first two. Maybe it's, like, on the flowers over there? Go up. Go up? Yeah, like, could it be on that flower? Or, like, the bushes? Okay. But I was trying to look at bushes. <laughs> Don't did mess you, with did you flowers! <laughs> did you announce yourself with a cheerful, <laughs> hey, guys? Hey, you guys! Hey yourself, buddy! <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe not close to the desert, but... Look at rock! <laughs> <laughs> Always forget about caps lock. Ah, there they are. Good job. Totally wrong. 
Holding the silver thimble beneath a dew-filled flower, you gently tip the flower so its dew runs into the thimble. You move from flower to flower, repeating the process until your thimble is brimming with dew. Now, was that dew there before? Yes. You just have to take very, pay very close attention to the descriptions. I don't remember us really looking at it anyway. I remember we didn't looking look at, at the, the flowers. flowers, but you didn't like. We didn't go down the list of spell components we needed because we we're focused so focused on the uh, cat cookie. All right, so now we're going to go through and make all the spells that we need. And then we get two cats on the stairs of the lab. <laughs> they alternate in shifts. <laughs> God, after that speed run section, this is like so tame and calm it by is comparison. A, it is a lovely vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, by the way, um, we we should need a chicken feather. Oh, yeah. <sighs> What's a chicken? You going to do it from out there? <laughs> Gotcha! You've managed to catch a chicken, but what are you going to do with it? Tucking the chicken firmly under one arm, you gently pluck a small feather, then let it go. Alright. Now we're in business. Now we are in business. No cats, no fastest speed. The staircase is nice and calm and relaxing. No Everybody's trouble. having a good time. Everybody's having a great time. I'm having a good time. <laughs> okay, what spell do we want to do first? Creatures? I'll do them in whatever order you'd like to read them. Um, we'll start with uh, understanding the language of creatures. That's page II, too. Okay, let's spell. Put the small feather in a bowl. Put the fur in the bowl. Put the reptile skin in a bowl. Add a spoonful of powdered fish bone. Oh no, I forgot to take it. God, we You're have to all fuck ears up every now, Gwydion. We do. We have to fuck you, up every you, spell. You might as well grab all the ingredients off the shelves. Okay, take fish bone. Take nice nightshade. Shade. Juice. Juice? Yeah. Uh, take saffron. Take toad spittle and take toadstool powder. Got all these inventory items we have. Mm hmm. Beautiful. Don't all forget right, to now. save again. Got a spell. Okay, turn page to page two. two. Put the small feather in the bowl. Reptile skin in the bowl. Put the reptile skin in the bowl. Add a spoonful of powdered fish bone. Okay. Put a thimble full of dew in the bowl. Mix with hands. Separate mixture into two pieces. 
put the dough pieces in your ears. You very now, don't you feel silly? <laughs> pull your hair down over them. <laughs> uh, recite the following verse. Feather of fowl and bone of fish molded together in this dish. Give me wisdom to understand. Creatures of air, sea, and land. No commas. Wave the wand. Are you kidding me? We probably put the wand back in the... I forgot to take <laughs> the wand again. Sorry. I forgot that too. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, a lot of fun that uh, when you have the spell book open and, you know, you just like fumble with like a bowl or something that's enough to uh, ruin your life. Why do I relock it? Who cares? Leave it open. <laughs> Crash Man, the place. A cat now. Does this mean I get to sleep in his bed? I mean, you know, assuming you stick around that long. Honestly, like uh, revisiting this game, my biggest concern is like, who's, what's going to happen to the chickens? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I didn't think about that before. <laughs> Turn to page. Well, feather in bowl, put fur in bowl, put... Reptile skin. Reptile skin. Bowl. Add a spoonful of powdered fish bone. Put a thimbleful of dew in the bowl. Mix with hands. Separate into two pieces? Yes. Put pieces put in your ears? Put no pieces in your ears. Feather of fowl and bone of fish. Molded together in this dish. Give me wisdom to understand. Creatures of air, sea, and land. No commas. Oh, I guess it didn't matter. You wave the magic wand over your dough-filled ears. Successfully completing the spell, okay. you again look at the wizard's laboratory. Ooh. Nice. Okay. <laughs> now, the, the, these spells are permanent, right? Uh, yeah, basically you should be able to talk to all the animals in the valley now. Um, but, like, they're not going to run out at some point. I don't believe that any of them. Uh, this one does. There, there's a couple of them where they're like a usable item that once it's used, it's gone. But okay. like, I, I don't think there's like a limit otherwise to most of these. Uh, page four is the, for the next one. Page four. Uh, what? I, oh my god! <laughs> Fuck it up. What? Obviously, you were raised by a naughty <laughs> wizard. Um, put bowl in bowl. <laughs> Strange feeling comes over you. You wonder if you could have made a mistake. Oh. <laughs> oh, gross. Ooh, Gwydion, what big eyes you have. Okay. Anyway, turn to page four. So this is the... Flying Which... like an eagle or a fly. Okay. Put a pinch of saffron in essence. Oh, actually, if you fuck it up, but you use the eagle feather, will you turn into an eagle? You can ba after you basically get the uh, essence, and then you can choose what you do with it. Okay. Yeah, because but I, I mean, didn't actually doing... I didn't actually use. Oh, anything. oh never mind. Okay, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Okay. What's the potion? Oh, or the winged spirits set me free. Oh, winged spirits set me free. Of earthly bindings just like me. In this essence, behold the might. 
to grant the precious gift of flight. And we have the magic wand. Successfully completing the spell, you again look at the wizard's laboratory. Great. Uh, next is going to be teleportation at random, and that's going to be on page seven. Turn to page seven. All right. Put saffron in bowl. <laughs> You, you are teleporting at random. <laughs> it appears that stone has a flaw. Wow. What a horrible fate. <laughs> Just teleporting forever. All right, page seven. Let's do it. Uh, grind a spoon of salt in a mortar. Okay. Grind the mistletoe in the mortar. Okay. Rub the stone in the mixture. I don't have a stone. Ah. Uh, that's inconvenient. Uh, got another King's Quest. Another time where we have to go find a stone. <laughs> Realizing only we, we at the time. We need to learn from Casey's lesson in Search by Lakes, I think. Um, but we can go. We can do the the next spell um, while we wait. Um, yeah, let's do it. But we had everything. Oh, you're trying uh, to get done. Uh, causing a deep sleep. That's going to be on page 14. <laughs> Whoops. I mean, it worked. <laughs> night, night, Gwydion. Honestly, not the worst fate. Yeah, I'd take it. Grind the acorns in a mortar. Okay. Put the acorn powder in a bowl. Put the nightshade juice in the bowl. There is now an ugly brown mealy liquid mixture in the bowl. Stir the mixture with a spoon. Light a charcoal brazier. Making sure there is fresh charcoal in the brazier. There is a small supply here. You light it with the flint. Soon the brazier is hot. Heat the mixture on the brazier. Soon the hot brazier brings the mixture to a bubble, then a boil, releasing a bitter-smelling steam. You let it boil until the nightshade juice is nearly gone, then remove it from the brazier. Spread the mixture on a table. Uh, spread the hot sticky mixture over the tabletop, in a few minutes it is dried to a very crumbly, coarse sleeping powder. Acorn powder ground so fine. Nightshade juice like bitter wine. Silently in darkness you creep to bring a soporific sleep. To, to bring so, a what? S S O P O R I F I C. That. Uh, yeah, that should be correct. And uh, yeah, wave the wand. Uh, put the sleep powder in the pouch. You untie the small leather pouch, scoop the powder from the table, and place it within. You now have a pouch full of sleep powder. Wonderful. All right. What else? Uh, the Brewing a Storm. It's going to be on page LXXXIV. 84. <laughs> Brew a Storm. <laughs> Just miserable. There's no silver lining in this cloud, Gwydion. All right, let's do it. Uh, put a cup of ocean water in a bowl. Okay. 
light a charcoal brazier. It's already burning. Heat the bowl on the brazier. You watch as the salt water slowly warms and begins to steam. You remove it just before it boils. Put a spoon of mud in the bowl. Don't have mud. Ah! <laughs> so we need mud and rocks. And there's no other spells, right? We've got Becoming Invisible as the remaining one. All right, let's do that one. Uh, C-L-X-I-X. -X. Trembling hands, you turn the pages of the Sorcery of Old and brew a storm. <laughs> it, it works as advertised. Gwydion? Oh, Gwydion? What Gwydion? Where? C-L-X-I-X -X would be, what is that, 150, 169. Nice. Cut the cactus with a knife. Got some juice. Squeeze the cactus juice into a spoon. Small cactus is quite devoid of liquid now, so you toss it away. Okay. Put the cactus juice in a bowl. Okay. I don't know why we couldn't have put the juice in the bowl first, but, you know, you spells, know. Who, who knows. Put the lard in the bowl. <laughs> Oh, we get a jar to store the finished formula. Um, add two drops of toad spittle. Okay. Stir the mixture with a spoon. Cactus plant and horny toad. I now start down a dangerous road. Combine with fire and mist to make. Combine with fire? Yeah, combined with fire and mist to make. Combined? Uh, no, no D. Okay, combine with fire and mist to make. Me disappear without a trace. We have the wand? Mm-hmm. And put the ointment in the empty jar. All right. Okay. We just need <laughs> uh, mud and rocks. Easy. We can probably use our map from here, I hope. I'm guessing we can find mud, like, anywhere, right? I do not remember the mud, so I'm like... <laughs> I think it's just, like, it's going to be pretty common. Like, I think... I assume, like, a shore like this would be adequate. God, no wonder nobody's talking. I didn't realize I was muted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say the shore's probably fine. Yep. Yep. All right. Do you think we're reusing the same spoon for everything? Yes, we absolutely are. <laughs> I feel like that would taint the spell components, but what do I know? All right. Casey said there are rocks by water, right? Uh, wasn't there a pool of water somewhere? I feel like there was a couple. Hmm. There could be some in the desert down there. What's all that cracking? Like, if you look at the map, there's a bunch of... Oh, you know what? You're, you're probably you, right, yeah. How about... Also, listen to the squirrels while you're here. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I want to... <laughs> listen to bird? Just listen. Okay, I think maybe you just need to just hang out a little bit. Do we still have the stuff in our ears? I forget. 
Oh, do we have it in our ears? I don't see why we wouldn't. It says doe in ears. Yeah, that should, it should be in our ears then. Am I supposed to be able to hear something from them? You, my recollection is that um, you can get hints basically from the animals gossiping. Like um, the understand the language of animals is not really a necessary um, component, but it does give you vital clues. <laughs> is this that part on the map that had all the gray stuff? It's down there in the corner. What is the, all that? Oh, it's just cracks. Can you take like that stone up there? Hmm. It's weird to get so picky about stones. I crack off a piece of Medusa. <laughs> okay. I double checked um, the stone, and this is a lot more involved than I remembered. Oh, good. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, I actually genuinely think that's good because it makes me mad when it's just something stupid like, yeah. Oh, you know, you didn't look at this tiny pixel. Do, do you want any direction at all, or do you just want to bumble for a bit? I think we bumble. What do you think, Suha? I'm feeling the bumbling. <laughs> Because if it's complicated, that means that, you know, we might just need to do some stuff. Guys, it's too <laughs> early to get my ass kicked today. It's always ass kick o'clock. The way they had to do the, the fucking left down, left down, left down to get you. <laughs> I respect that you're just going to get your shit back instead of, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know. I mean, I'm right here. Besides, I'm probably going to die up here on the ledge anyway. Hey, believe in yourself. I mean, are they ever not asleep in here? Listen, you know, they, they're hardworking boys. <laughs> <laughs> Burgling and banditing. Being unsavory. Oh, I should have checked to see if there was no dough in ears. <laughs> They take the time to rob you of the dough in your ears. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to find <laughs> out. Dun, dun, dun. I, I need to get robbed again. Right on cue. I love how we one of them runs into the desert. <laughs> oh no, it no. leaves the dough in the ears. I guess they don't pick the earwax out of your ears and take that. <laughs> <laughs> they just look at you on the ground like, ooh. <laughs> did you restore? I feel like I missed I that. I did. I did. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we didn't buy a drink yet from the barmaid, did we? We did not. All right, baby. What's her name? Barmaid. Barmaid, prepare to, be, <laughs> prepare to be deeply impressed by my deep pockets. Oh, <gasps> hey. Hi, boys. The two ruffians at the table see you looking at them and glare back at you menacingly. It's the bandits from the forest. Please save. <laughs> One of the surly looking characters yells to the barmaid, Wench, come over here with some more ale. One of the ugly rogues scowls at you and he's, as he says, Beat it, kid. You're way too handsome. Oh my god, she is like seven feet tall. I yeah. love her. <laughs> Keep your shirts on, you ornery buzzards, the barmaid yells. I'll be there quick enough. Without taking her eyes off the two men, she says, I'll be happy to take your order, but be quick about it, because those two are keeping me hopping. Buy a nail. The barmaid hands you a glass, and the potent liquid burns as it slides down your parched throat. It hits bottom, and you suddenly feel a bit woozy. Can you buy another one? <laughs> <laughs> I can't walk. <laughs> buy another one. Let's pass out. The barmaid hands you a glass. You feel a bit woozy. Same thing? Same thing. Go for broke. Just blow your entire wallet. 
I I I, I, I cannot control Gwydion. Okay. <laughs> Wait, you're not doing this? No, I was not doing that. That was all automatic. He stumbled out the door? Yes. Oh. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna Did it give you that dialogue last time that just one more? No, it didn't, so I'm gonna have to do this again. Okay. Incidentally, um, you can uh, use one of your spells in here to get some points with the boys. Some points with the boys? You get some points with them, the boys! <laughs> That one tasted even better than the last. Just one more sounds like a good idea. Oh. Oh. So you can't get deathly drunk in this game. Apparently yeah, not. It's just the way they phrase it. I thought maybe we'd die or pass out or something. Yeah. Uh-oh, Gwydion. <laughs> okay, points with the boys. What, what, what spells have we got? Talking to animals, flying, uh, sleep powder, invisibility. Can you like sit with them? I'm not done messing with them, to be honest. <laughs> Press your luck. Press your luck. <laughs> <laughs> Should I, yeah, like, damn, what a cop out. should I turn invisible and listen to them? Oh, maybe. I believe it's one of the spells that we uh, did not, couldn't make yet. No, okay. I have it. Okay. Oh. Okay, but this place does not meet the spell's requirements. Oh, cop What's out. What's the spell's requirement? He probably that you can't be indoors or something. Ah, <laughs> oh, God, what other spells do we have? Sleep powder? What's the invisibility spell's requirement, David? I'm looking at the manual. Um, you, have, you know how the magic ointment that will allow you to turn invisible, but beware, the ointment only works in a place where there is both fire and mist. Oh. Really, okay. really minimizes its usefulness. <laughs> Is that all we have? We have invisibility, ointment, sleep you can, powder. And... You also have the turn into eagle or fly. Oh, oh that's okay. What we well, can do. Shit. Let's turn into an eagle. Dip wings in essence. You overhear snatches of the two bandits' conversation. Squirm just like a pig, and that rope you rigged inside of that big oak tree works great. Now nobody will e'er find our hideout. Why, I'll bet even that wizard. Is that it? Yeah, it should be it. When you say get points with the boys, you meant get points from the boys? Uh, you basically, like, overhearing that conversation gets you uh, a few points. I thought you meant like they'd be impressed with us. <laughs> I was so excited. <laughs> I want to be friends with them. They don't seem like good boys. <laughs> I know, they're unsavory. Uh -huh. That was, makes them even better. <laughs> I wonder if there's a command to turn back into a human or if it just has to run its course. Um, the... Manual says to return to your own farm before the spell wears off. Recite the verse. Uh, Eagle be gone, uh, myself return, or fly be gone, myself return. It's Try, I think it's, yeah, like one, one word. word. Oh. The impulse to buzz around has vanished. You feel yourself growing bigger, so you head for what you hope is a safe place to land. I can't believe those guys didn't even notice. I thought they'd think it was so cool that you turned into a fly. <laughs> they'd be like, wow. 
Guess we shouldn't have fucked with you, kid. <laughs> You're so muscular me, and me, handsome. Let me buy you a drink. <laughs> I will never get over this game just constantly talking about how hot Gwydion is, like, at <laughs> every turn. Oh, yeah, we needed a rock. Mm-hmm. It's too bad they were like... Specifically a stone is what the spell stone, says. Okay. It's too bad they weren't like... Oh man, it was so great when I threw that stone through that guy's window the other day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, David, let's have a nudge. Um, where What's the biggest thing on this map that feels like it's unresolved? The like, spider's what, what, cave. What, what, what have, Hold on, hold on. Let's 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 go with that. Let's go with that. This this feels unresolved. Oh yeah, it does. Hmm. Yep, fly wings in essence. <laughs> Seems like a bad <laughs> idea. Don't you know spiders <laughs> love flies? Yum yum. Oh, I gotta do that again now. Forgot to save. Can you punch one of them? <laughs> no. It's too bad you can't, like, annoy them, you know? Yeah. And just get swatted. I wonder who squirmed like a pig. I wanna hear more about that story. Mm hmm. They don't even care. You turn into a fly right in front of them. Like, Manana does that all the time. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Be violent. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fine. What about that net? Have we looked at the net? I tried looking at net, and it told me that what's a net? Oh. I see. <laughs> Throw a rock. <laughs> Since we don't have a rock. <sighs> oh, I can't use the feather? Or see equal feather. Equal feather in essence. There we go. Alright, feed that spider. You swoop close to the spider web and find the huge spider guarding the entrance. Nice. Taking her in your beak, you vow to get rid of her once and for all. <laughs> <laughs> Later, bitch. <laughs> I did not remember this at all. <laughs> Get dunked. <laughs> the funny thing is this game sort of seems to like, I don't know, presuppose that you have been killed by the spider. But Gwydion, I mean, Gwydion wouldn't really have any, uh oh, objections, surely. Oh, oh I say, we don't know what's in there. And the web's now broken. Yeah. You have entered oh. the cave of the Oracle. You are almost afraid to speak. Now this just feels like an old Zelda thing. This is <laughs> amazing. The Oracle remains silent for a long time. Finally, you hear a hollow voice that seems to come from far away. I've been waiting for you a long time, Gwydion. I have sorrowful news for you. Years ago, a terrible three-headed dragon invaded Daventry and keeps the people in a state of terror. This monster requires, once a year, the sacrifice of a young maiden. <laughs> that track. <laughs> Sadly, your own sister, Princess Rosella, is the chosen one this year. Time is running out for her, your parents, and Daventry.
How often are the sacrifices required? Once anyway. a year. Okay. So Graham has allowed this to go on <laughs> yes. for years. You, Gwydion, the hollow voice continues, are the only one who can save them. But you must hurry. I have something to give you. A small stone of amber. Use it wisely, my friend. Come on. I, I had completely spaced out on this, and the, the spellbook does not specify amber. Yeah. The oracle grows silent again and seems to fall into a deep sleep. You attempt to thank the oracle, but the oracle does not respond. I had completely forgotten um, that <laughs> this whole sequence, and that they also reveal the twist here. Yeah. The clear, polished ball of crystal rests upon a stone dais. Within it, you see a kaleidoscope of bright colors and flashing lights, occasionally blurred by dark, ominous shadows. Is it dais or dais? I think it's dais. I thought it? dais. It's dais. That's one of those words that you read but never say. Yeah. The oracle appears to be deep in meditation. Push oracle. <laughs> I don't know why I was that. <laughs> That is impossible. No mere mortal may touch the mystic ball. Why not? It's right there. We're going to touch it. Ugh. <laughs> Take the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Dunk the crystal ball. <laughs> I mean, it looks pretty useful. <laughs> P push crystal ball over. Crack it. Ooh, a ship. Yeah. Um, we we're getting towards the... Like, we still need the remaining spells, and there's oh, one, right. I think there's like an optional, um, some optional points we can still get. Um, so this but, is where we could take too long? Yeah, if we wait too long, the ship will leave without us. Okay. You can probably also save over. Um, oh, Casey will appreciate that, I'm sure. You can <laughs> save over uh, feeding the hungry bananan. That shouldn't need that one anymore. Yeah. All right, let's wrap up these spells once and for all. Now, Suha, how do you feel about David telling us the incidental points that we're missing? Uh. That's fine. Although I would love to, I would love a little nudge just to see if we can get it. Um, as far as like the points list is concerned, there's something where uh, if you figure out uh, how to find something secret on the map uh, through one of your spells, it gives you uh, some points. Oh, I don't know if I know that. Something secret on the map. Like, you already know what the thing is, but um, I guess there's just an alternate way to uh, discover this. You know what you should have fucking done? You should have listened to the unsavory rogues talk, and then you should have gone up the mountain as a fly. <laughs> I don't know I mean, how you far still, You can go. still transform. Yeah. You can? Oh. But you can't be an eagle anymore, right? No, I can do that too. Oh, then hell yeah, just fly up the fucking- Holy Yeah! Crap. <laughs> okay. Not as satisfying, though. So how with the solutions? I really thought I was going to say be gone thought. <laughs> <laughs> Worry that the chickens eat you. Uh -oh. oh, my magic essence is gone. Uh-oh. Are we okay with that? I feel like we need it. Do I need it again, David? Um, I do think that it's advisable to have uh, a charge left over. All right, fine. <laughs> All right, Suha with the nine solutions. <laughs> hey, it was a great solution. This game's just having no fun, that's all. That's the case. I'm just like wondering, like, how many times are you permitted to? Uh, it's like that was like your third usage of the essence, right? Correct. But I mean, there were points for doing it in the bar, right? 
yeah, eavesdrop um, at, on the bandits as a fly is three points. So unless there's an alternate solution to the spider. Oh, you hear one chicken say to the other, I feel so sorry for the boy. The old wizard treats him miserably. Yes, dear, replies the other one, but you ought to worry about your own neck. Look at the situation we're in. <laughs> well, you should open the door so they can get out. I think it when just like, makes, us in, makes us enter the gate anytime we open it. Yeah, you're right, it does. Aww. So I was like, I, I, I wish we could just free the chickens. They don't, yeah. they don't deserve to be left behind here. The cat, though, the cat's on its own. Are we in agreement, though, that we use the essence the correct number of times? Uh, I'm worried just about, like, points here. Like, um... But is there another solution to the spider? No. So then we have to have done it correctly, because we got points for being a fly. Mm -hmm. We got points for being an eagle and solving the spider. So, like, they wouldn't give you points for being a fly earlier if it wasn't something you're supposed to do. What, what, what were we missing? We needed to use the stone. Um, so that's teleportation at random. And that was uh, page seven. Okay. Uh, grind a spoon of salt in a mortar. Mm hmm. Grind the mistletoe in the mortar. Mm hmm. Rub the stone in the mixture. Place the beautiful amber stone in the stone mortar. Very carefully so as not to miss a single spot, you rub the amber stone around in a mixture of ground salt and mistletoe. Discard the remaining powder. What's next? Uh, the... Kiss the stone. Smack. <laughs> With this kiss, I V impart power most dear to my heart. Take me now from this th from this place hither to another place far thither. Wave the wand. Okay, now we got a stone. Uh, and see, what was the one thing that used the mud? That was the storm, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the it was the storm. So that's uh, page. Uh, L X X X I V. Okay. Put a cup of ocean water in a bowl. Mm -hmm. Light a charcoal brazier. Hopefully, it hasn't burnt out. Okay. We're good. Heat, heat the bowl on the brazier. Put a spoon of mud in the bowl. Add a pinch of toadstool powder. Blow into the hot brew. Elements from the earth and sea. Combine to set the heavens free. No D in the combine. Uh, when I stir this magic brew, Great God Thor, I call on you. Wave the wand. Pour the storm brew into the jar. All right. We we should have all of the spell components. Could just do goddess spells. Or that too. <laughs> Okay. Um, so I guess all that's left is the optional points and departing for in-game. Okay. So optional points we said being we need to what What did we say? <laughs> My hint was that you oh, need secret to use, use, a, use a spell to discover something you already know about. So like animals? I'm perturbed by how few animals I can actually listen to. 
I think yeah. that it's probably more an issue that um, it triggers inconsistently. Um, because so like, like I know I know these ambient animals definitely gossip. Yeah. Chatters one squirrel to the other. Manan's terrorizing the countryside again. I'm afraid for my life. I know how you feel, replies the second. I understand he's fond of squirrel tales. So it seems like they'll just kind of chatter while you're wandering around the screen then. There's nothing that I right. can do to invoke it. Yeah, you don't really converse with the animals. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da. You know, we never <laughs> saw the bears leaving the house. Did we mess that up? I don't think that it's required to see that. I'm just curious if we won't see it now. My my recollection of this, like, basically on par with uh, seeing the boys at the tavern. Like, it, it's not really necessary. Um, it doesn't really affect anything, but it, there's mm -hmm. a random chance for it to occur. Mm -hmm. Come on, squirrels, say words. <laughs> Do you know about how much time we have before the ship goes? I don't recall, but I remember it being a lot more forgiving than Mananan. So I feel okay. like that uh, you maybe have like an hour from when it shows up, but I would still keep some like um, saves just in case. Mm -hmm. I mean, the other ones did it pretty quickly, right? Yeah. I don't think these squirrels are talking. Kind of funny the spider didn't talk to you. I mean, you can have to like uh, trigger its kill animation before it'll even be on screen to listen to. But you think need it, to be stealthy. You'd think it would be like once it has you, it would be like, yummy, <laughs> large meat. <laughs> Big, handsome, meaty man. Your father <laughs> must be so you, ripped. Eve, I love it when my meat is tasty and <laughs> handsome. <laughs> I like that they didn't know which way to go. Oh my god, look at him. He's just... <laughs> so now, will they not appear if you uh, have been robbed? Slash are carrying nothing? I don't think that that really affects anything. Because it would be funny if they tried to rob you and you didn't have anything. And they just kind of disgustedly put you down. You speak to the dog in a soothing voice and his ears perk up. Go ahead and pet him, says the storekeeper. Kenny loves attention. Licks your hand, thumps his tail in appreciation. Listen to dog. Talk to dog. Dog's got nothing to say. Maybe if there's another dog for it to talk to. Oh, see, I feel like King's Quest V is way more generous with the animals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know why I'm very disappointed that you can't push over Medusa. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes, she's a solid stone statue, but still. Like, when you get, make your adventure game, uh, you'll definitely let you push over Medusa. Shatter her yeah. into the stones. Yeah, you gotta double tap, always. I don't think the lizards are gonna be helpful. There's a couple more squirrels. Boys, let's hear it. That boy over there lives with a terrible wizard, one scampering squirrel remarks to its companion. How awful for him, says the other squirrel. I wonder how he can stand it. Comments the first. I bet he can't. He ought to learn magic. He gotta fight fire with fire. That wasn't that was it. No. Dang. I do think we'll be wandering around for a while if you guys are uh, wanting to figure this out. Your ears perk up as you hear one twittering bird say there to her friend, go. Do you think that young man looks anything like his twin sister in Daventry? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I hear her beauty is legendary, chirps the other bird. Well, he ain't exactly chopped liver either, the first little bird states. <laughs> I would you like and, a slice of that. <laughs> you and the birds are horny for Gwydion. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, I mean, for a human. Mm -hmm. ooh. I tell you if I were a human. <laughs> All right, David, let's have another nudge. Uh, you're trying to uncover the same information that you got from the boys at the bar. 
What did they tell us again? Oh, I remember something about squirming like a pig. <laughs> Did yeah, they talk if... about their hideout? Yeah, they did. Okay. So then maybe um maybe somewhere near the hideout. I tell you, Harriet, those two unsavory rogues chirp <laughs> chirp chirp. <laughs> <laughs> they got a hideout where they do all kinds of mean stuff. Tweet tweet. I let them fertilize my eggs, let me tell you. <laughs> You really got to stop over sharing. Does it involve talking to the animals? I think that would make a lot more sense in terms of like points, but no, you don't get any points for eavesdropping on the oh, animals. Oh my god! Well, I'm glad you asked because I thought that that's what we needed to do. Can't turn invisible. Oh, then maybe can we use invisibility? I can't. No fire or mist. Oh. Huh. I would assume it's got to be around here, right? We have to use our magic to figure out th about the hideout. What is the point of the random teleporting? It'll come extremely useful later. Okay. Hmm. I don't know what this could possibly be. Are you ready to call it? Are you? <laughs> well, I am extraordinarily sleepy, so I'm not thinking very well. <laughs> like, the principal part of me is like, no! But I genuinely... Uh, I don't... Uh, maybe a tiny hint? Yeah, let's have another little hint, David. Uh, what is something you can discover on this screen? What is something I can discover on this screen? Mm-hmm. What a fine oak... It's something you already know about. Yeah, the I rope. mean, the hole? The ladder? We, we know that. We use our power to discover it. <sighs> Maybe walk up under the tree. And, like... Feel it. <laughs> 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 Use the storm, lightning strikes the tree, bandits fall out. <laughs> see, we can look in the hole, but we don't see anything because it's too dark. Are we supposed to light up the inside somehow? No. Seems like a stretch. Oh, maybe we can hear snoring coming from up there somehow. But I don't know how we would do that. Do you just listen? Oh. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> See, maybe you, maybe you pretended to go to sleep under the tree. <laughs> With a, a gentle, hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> Just summon them. <laughs> They've robbed you so many times. They don't even want and to come back time, anymore. <laughs> like, every single time they... They see you, they rob you. And they don't notice that every time you get your stuff back and you get their money back. So the thing we then need to do for points is on this screen, David. Yes. And it's kind of dumb. Can you, like, lean against the tree? <laughs> Knock on the tree? kick tree how stupid are we talking it's very arbitrary like i'm not ex uh, i've given you guys basically three hints and we're still kind of struggling to get it because it's not very intuitive what? all right for this for the sake of forward progress what is it uh you have to enter the oak tree hole as a fly what but that would be <laughs> using the essence Right, and I think that the essence is better spent later, but uh, the points list says that this is something that you get five points for. Oh, damn. In your insect form, you fit easily through the hole in the tree. 
You have Whoa. flown through the hole at the base of the tree and are now inside the hollow trunk. You see a rope leading up into a small hole above you. This area is cramped and confining even for a fly. Can I go back? I can't. It didn't let me do anything in there. Oh, but we did, couldn't even see. I think the intention is that we just like uh, have it revealed that there is a uh, a rope hidden in there. Oh. Well, I hope there's another way to do that <laughs> thing later. <laughs> huh. We didn't waste any? Uh, or should we have if, done... If you're going for point completion, um, you basically have used it for everything you have to use it for. Like should we have it. gone to them in the bar and then flown all the way to the tree, or could we not make it that far? I guess it's a question if you can even leave the bar as a fly. Oh, no, you can't. Yeah, can you? I could. Oh. How far back was that? I think that was after. Oh no, there's <gasps> pirates in here. Ah, uh, I don't like the looks of this. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. Got a spells too? I that presume, like, unless there's some like stupid efficiency thing in terms of like uh, maximizing your points here, that it's not required to uh, use the essence in, in during in game to get full points. Mm hmm. Okay. Like, again, the only situation I can imagine that it being possible to even bring the essence into in-game uh, then would be is we can turn into a fly at the bar, fly straight to the tree before the spell wears out, and discover the hole there. That's what I was thinking. Right. Yeah, but I think I borked it. I think I've saved over all my saves. Well, I think that uh, we're just going to have to chance it. Hold on, let's see. We, we look through. Like, I could go back to here, but that's way <laughs> a long time ago. That's no, 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 the no. There's got to be something. What about find another save? What's that? That was even further back. Oh, no. Are they, like, are the most recent ones up at the top? So more spells. We had everything but the last two that we needed, the stone and the... Eagle. And the, yeah, the mud for... This should at least let you uh, check uh, to see if it's even possible. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good idea. Because if it's not, then we'll know. Okay. Can you fast? <laughs> Yep. <laughs> so the question is what now, uh, Rick? Well, the answer is we've lost 15 minutes of game progress. <laughs> but points. <laughs> points, Suha. Points. I mean, how could we look ourselves in the mirror, you know, uh, if Most we don't? Of our progress, too, is just like, oh, just trying to even just figure out what's... Uh, was yeah. going on. This is fine. We'll yeah. have to make the last two spells again, but this is fine. Yeah, we got this. Now, is this a greater dunk or is a uh, catting Mananen the mm. bigger triumph? I mean, this is technically the most physically <laughs> like a dunk, but mm -hmm. I feel like Mananen probably is the one. Okay, there we go. You know, it's kind of funny they can appear and disappear, but they just stay here asleep afterward. Now, where do we get the detail that Mananon was going to kill you? 
Did we get that detail from anywhere? No, I don't think we have, but... I mean, I know that. But... Is that something that the later game, like, guides and stuff said? Or would Mananan, if you let him go on a couple of journeys and come back, would Mananan be like, Fuck you, you're 18 now, uh, and now you have to die, or...? I don't know that, like, um, he kills you in this, or, like, I, I forget if that happens. Like, my, my No, he totally kills you in this. Okay. You only have a finite number of journeys uh, to do this with. I remember there being finite journeys, but I, for, I, I guess I didn't uh, either didn't let it lapse that much or um, forgot. Like if, you, if you didn't... Uh, if they weren't finite, or if, the fi if they were finite journeys... Did you just think it was going to be, like, a soft block? Something like that. The sailors peer at you through bleary eyes and continue spilling their rum. One, who looks like the captain, pauses and drunkenly slurs, Aye, me bucko, be a wanton passage on me ship? What you running from? Aw, oh, snow matter. As long as you got gold, let's me see how much you got. Uh-oh. Go gold. You have gold? Okay. As you bring out the perks, the captain snatches it from your hand and says, Aye, lad, I sees ya do have a wee bit of gold. It's less than me regular fare, but I'll give ya passage anyway. We'll be waiting for ya at the wharf, but not for long. The captain and his men down their rum in one long draft and leave the tavern. So... I'm not quite ready for How that. many coins did we have? I'm curious. Four. Four. Can you drink three of them? <laughs> I give him one. I, him one. <laughs> I just want to see if he'll take it. Yeah, let's find that out. Also, were you not ready to go yet? Yeah, I'm not ready to go yet. We, we oh, still right, right. Spells. I completely forgot. I'm sorry. My brain is like so <laughs> fried today. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's do it. Does she have jiggle physics? Um... I think or is that just it, her? It, it might just be part of the walk cycle. Um. Nice. You could pay him just one. <laughs> okay, well, then we'll definitely, when we're ready to go, we definitely have to, like, because we're a man now. So yeah. we'll get totally drunk and then we'll be like, well, I'm going. Oh, there you go. Huh? There are three fully clothed bears coming. You hear Mama Bear say, Thank you, dear. That was a lovely walk. Some of this music sounds like banjo kazooie music. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, the over the overworld, the, the fucking what's it called? You know what I'm talking about, right? Yep. Yeah. Grunty's hideout. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sounds close. When we do pay off the pirates. We are definitely going to drink wine, then ale, <laughs> then wine to make sure that we get nice and sick <laughs> before getting on their ship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great, uh, great, great move there. And also a very fucking, I'm a newly emancipated, still oh, yeah. teen. <laughs> oh, absolutely, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is like oh, Gwydion. Yeah, no. This is like Gwydion going to, God damn it, Gwydion going to college and just like, mm. oh man, now I can drink all the alcohol. Yep. The cliff finally got you. The cliff did get me. It's got me before there. That's a tough part because there's a rock hiding the path. It's yeah. True. I mean, Gwydion could have just lived here. But I guess he knows he has a family has to save them now. See what I mean? Yeah. It's totally fair that they put things in the foreground that block the path. Yeah, they love that shit. Fucking Roberta Williams. <laughs> it, was that Roberta or was it like I mean, Ken it, or... Was like, there a, a I, stair master, you know? <laughs> The question of whose responsibility is the, the stairs uh, is a good point of contention. I don't know if Roberta deliberately called for it in her design documentation or if it was maybe like Mark, <laughs> Jesus Mark Pro Christ. or something. You you walked right on the edge there. Did you see those moves like Jagger that I just pulled? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you say moments before you tumble down the staircase. Hey, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I know you said that shit because it's a real possibility. <laughs> yeah, now I'm staying very far away from the edge. 
You got so proud. Okay, I had to well, humble you a little bit. One more time. Uh, Brewing a Storm, page LXXXIV. All right, that feels much better because now we have 169 points, which is what we had before after we used the essence for the last time. I yes. feel good about this. <laughs> yes, this was a good thing. Good job, Rick. <laughs> yes, I could not. I could not allow us to go any further without getting all the points possible. Mm -hmm. David, are we now ready to set sail? Let us. Let us not forget also. Who it was that suggested going directly from the bar to the tree? <laughs> this that is technically good... my victory when you think about it. Oh, yeah. yes, this I, is Suha time. Myself. <laughs> Everybody leave a comment saying Suha time. <laughs> Never invite her again. <laughs> <laughs> Suha time. <laughs> um. As far as the points list, I am not seeing anything else prior to departure. Is the ship gone, or is it just not on the map? Oh, it's thank there. God. <laughs> Got nervous. Time to get drunk? <laughs> Time to get drunk. Hell yeah. <laughs> How much is the, um, is the fare again? Or it be 30 pieces of gold. Cool, cool, okay. <laughs> yeah, she definitely has jiggle physics. Just one more. Just one more. Is it backwards uh, controls or? Uh, no, it's literally moving him all over and any direction I press just takes him in a random direction. <laughs> uh, once again, the sailors peer at you through bleary eyes and continue swilling their rum. A one who looks like the captain pauses and drunkenly slurs, Aye, me bucko, be a wanton passage on me ship. What you running from? Ah, oh, it's no matter as long as you got gold. Let's me see how much you got. So we only have one coin left? We do. As awesome. you bring out the purse, the captain snatches it from your hand and says, Aye, lad, I sees you do have a wee bit of gold. It's less than me regular fare, but I'll gives you a passage anyway. We'll be waiting for you at the wharf, but not for long. The captain and his men down their rum in one long draft and leave the tavern. <laughs> Emphasis on the wee bit of gold. <laughs> yes. Um, my, my, right, hands are, my hands are off the clipboard or keyboard right now. He, he's doing this all on his own. Oh, shit. Okay. Wow. I did not know that. And I, I don't know if I'm actually affecting him at all whenever I press buttons, but... Oh. But he's uh, he's not doing anything that I'm asking him to do right now. That's crazy. I really thought you were, like, doing backwards controls or something, because that's what it looks like. No, if this were backwards controls, I'd be able to get to the door. There we go. Oh, okay. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I trust that Rick knows what he's doing when it comes to inverted controls. Yeah, no, that was entirely independence. He just w wanders off. Yeah, I could have sworn you had a bit, wee bit more gold than that before you entered the bar. <laughs> As the gangplank is drawn in, you hear the captain shout to his men, Take his things and put him in the old till I figures out what to do with him. Oh, no. You have a sneaking suspicion that you've made a big mistake. These are pirates. 